Well, we go to London, where a massive protest broke out at the British capital. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Those screaming, Intifada. What? Kill the Jews. What the fuck? Kill Israel. What the fuck? And uh, white trash. Bullshit. But other than that, it was a peaceful protest. A bullshit? I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this is What's Next. What's up, everyone? Jasper Gonzo, what's next? Your daily dose. If you guys are feeling good today on this Saturday, and of course, this is the weekend edition. Well, Israel has been the news of the day and the news of the last several weeks. But of course, you gotta have those protests. You gotta have those lovely protests that are just like, you know what? We're here for the cause. We're here for the people. Or, in this case, we're here the terrorists. We go to London, where a massive protest broke out at the British capital. Those screaming in Tafada, and of course, calling for violence against Israel. You know, kill Israel, you know, wipe Israel off the mat, you know, the usual things. But um, remember, it was all peaceful. And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Intifada, from London to Gaza, pro-Palestinian protesters, pro-Arab protesters call for violent revolution against Israel at massive demonstration at the British capital. An estimated 100,000 anti-Israel protesters flooded onto the streets of London Saturday, with some being filmed calling for intifada against the Jewish state. The British capital was once again modeled by uh, pro-Palestinian protesters with numbers matching demonstrations held in London last week, during which activists were filmed calling for jihad, because of course they were. On Saturday, protesters flying a flag saying fight for, fight for revolution excuse me, were filmed chanting from London to Gaza, we'll have an intifada. Wow. Took you. How long did it take you to put that one together? Well, anyway. Uh, the term intifada, which literally translates to stone uprising, refers to years of violent Palestinian riots against Israel starting from 87 on to the 20th century, 20th anniversary of Israel's war against Egypt and Jordan. A so-called Second Intifada was launched in 2000 and lasted for around five years, during which over 1,000 Israelis and over 3,000 Palestinians were killed. But um, it's a good thing, right? Oof. Harry's Place. The question as to whether the Central London demonstration takes place now as a pro-Palestinian or a pro-Hamas demonstration is quickly being answered. From London to Gaza, we'll have an Intifada. Yes, so rhymey. The book of being distributed right now, the anti-Israel demonstration in central London was shown at the Sun illegally calling for support the proscribed terrorist organization Hamas. Yes, because it wasn't anything positive. Anyway. Outbursts of violence were recorded during the protests, including the conflict between pro-Palestinian activists and group of British nationalist counter-protesters. Iranian heritage political commentator Maya Tosi claimed that it had been attacked by a few pro-Palestinians, saying on social media that a police officer was injured during the clash and one man was arrested. The Metro Police also reported that the officer was hospitalized after being assaulted by a protester. White trash. There it is. You knew you'd get it in there soon, right? Aye. The second large scale anti Israel protest comes as London's Metro Police face increasing criticism over the decision to not arrest activists calling for jihad and for Muslim armies around the world to attack Israel during a similar rally in London last weekend. Happens when your cops, aka Bobbies, don't have guns. Just saying. The word jihad comes from a number of meanings, but we know the public will most commonly associate with terrorism, the police argued. Ahead of the protest on Saturday, the leader and the command team responsible for policing the demonstration, Kyle Gordon, said to the Telegraph, if somebody is calling for a jihad specifically against Israel, uh, the Israel officers will intervene, gather the information, and report it back to us. We will be working with counterterrorism colleagues who are in the command suite with me in relation to what's best course of action is. 
The massive protest of Saturday was organized by several left-wing Islamic groups, including the Palestinian Forum, the British uh, in, in Britain, P PFB, which according to the Jewish Chronicle was co-founded by Mohammed Swatha, a former Hamas commander, wanted as a fugitive by Israeli government who has been living in the United Kingdom after being granted British citizenship in the early 2000s. Yes, he's a Hamas terrorist, but we're going to allow you to live here. Why? Because as British, as Londoners, we don't give a fuck. Austin Ostrovsky. This isn't a pro-Palestinian rally in London now. It's a pro-Hamas rally. Churchill is probably rolling in his grave. 'Cause what happens when you allow illegals to flood your country and then indoctrinate others. Just saying. This doesn't surprise me. Well, what surprises me is at least that if you have those calling for a jihad, if you have those calling for an intifada, you would have the London cops swarming all over these groups like flies on shit. But then again, this is Great Britain who outlawed firearms, you know, well, because people were getting too wise. It's absolutely pathetic. London, Great Britain, England, who's allowed so many illegals, so many immigrants to flood into their country, Muslim immigrants to flood into their country over the last three decades. And then wasn't there a 7-7 mm, a seven, seven of 07? You know, their version of 9-11 happened to them, you know, a few years after we got hit, but then again, it's just me putting out facts. Um, but this is what happens when you have the idiots running the asylum. But this is going to continue. Not just in London, not just in, I don't know, pick a country, Australia, here in the US, you know, well, Japan, they won't tolerate that shit. Russia, they won't tolerate that shit. So, uh, and China, they definitely won't tolerate that shit, but it's getting bad over in Israel right now. Israel, who has launched a full scale ground attack against Hamas is just bombing the fuck out of quote unquote Palestine out of Gaza, which in reality, no such thing as Palestine or the Palestinian people, they're Arab squatters. And of course, that's, you know, that little swath of land is getting bombed back to the Stone Age because Israel has made it very clear this shit is going to end. They're going after Hamas everywhere they live, everywhere they exist. Israel says, we are coming after you and we don't give up on. And, uh, mm, 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 mm. Hamas? You fucked around, and now you're finding out. And with that, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is Once the Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.